While most garden pests and problems are highly location dependent, deer are one problem that nearly everyone faces at some point. All 50 states have deer populations, and the deer in every state eat some of the crops we're cultivating. Growing plants that deer don't like is one technique for preventing damage caused by their feeding. Avoid having all your hard work eaten by the next herd that comes through. These some plants should survive visits from deer in the southeast. Number one, bear's breeches. Often called summer beauty, bear's breeches is a perennial that grows in clumps. The tall vertical spikes of white and purple flowers contrast beautifully with the lush, dark green foliage. Rabbits and deer can't eat it since it's resistant to browsing. Creeping roots allow the plant to multiply and spread. Plant in a spot that gets full sun or partial shade and has good drainage. It does well in almost any soil save for waterlogged ones. In borders and formal gardens, their striking form makes them ideal for highlighting the space. Grow successfully in zones six through 10. Number two, butterfly weed. The butterflies will love this plant, but the deer will pass it by. Butterfly weed is a hardy perennial that is endemic to some regions of North America and is known for its summertime displays of orange flower clusters. It can withstand high temperatures and dry conditions, so it will continue to look nice with minimal maintenance. In bloom from the beginning of summer to the end of it, you can get a bushier appearance by pinching back the immature stems. Growing in zones three to nine on the USDA plant hardiness zone map. Number three, Caryopteris. This remarkable plant brings to mind Russian sage and the two make wonderful plant companions. Clusters of violet blue flowers appear in late summer and fall over fragrant, silvery green foliage on Bluebeard. This low maintenance beauty is great for spruce up shrub borders when the rest of the shrubs have died down. Because deer don't find this plant attractive, you can safely leave it in your yard for a long time without worrying about it getting eaten. From zones five to nine, you can plant a caryopteris. Number four, chrysanthemum. Although chrysanthemums have always been associated with the classic fall colors of red, rust, orange, and yellow, modern varieties provide an astounding spectrum of colors, including purples and pinks. Deer won't be interested in eating on your plant as it prepares for winter because of the pleasant aroma of its leaves. Although chrysanthemums will grow in a wide variety of soil types, they do best in consistently wet, well-drained soil. Depending on variety, can survive in zones four to 10. Number five, goldenrod. Late summer and early fall is when goldenrod really starts to put out its golden flower eruptions, and they're perfect for the flower garden or a vase. The medium green quilted leaves of this plant is resistant to disease and deer, making it perfect for use as a filler plant in autumn arrangements or as a border plant at the end of the growing season. Growing goldenrod successfully in zones three through nine is possible. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.